commander in Afghanistan has warned that a Florida church's plans to burn Korans could put American soldiers in danger. Press release Colin Campbell reports. The Obama administration is weighing in against the threat to burn copies of the Muslim holy book, with the State Department calling the plan un-American, and officials saying it could threaten U.S. troops, diplomats, and travelers overseas. It puts our troops in harm's way, uh, and obviously that uh, any, any type of activity like that would be, uh, that puts our troops in harm's way would be a concern to this administration. Pastor Terry Jones, the man orchestrating the event, says he's planning it to prove a point. People are afraid uh, of radical Islam. They're, they're afraid to, to confront it. Uh, we hope that it brings an awareness that it is really there, uh, that it is a force to be reckoned, reckoned with, and, and, that, and that we must show them uh, that we are willing to do whatever is necessary uh, so that they do not push their agenda through. State Department spokesman P.J. Crowley said the administration hoped Americans would stand up and condemn the church's plan to burn the copies of the Quran on Saturday to mark the ninth anniversary of the September 11, 2001 attacks. It does not represent uh, our core values as Americans. Uh, we hope it does not happen. Some fear that anti-Islam sentiments are growing in the United States and the Quran is the latest target. Over the last 10 years, it's been gradually, but with increasing, uh, uh, increasing pace, growing because of the, the fact that nobody is saying that it's illegitimate politically in this country to be voicing these kinds of sentiments. Various groups have spoken out against the event from the religious to the U.S. military. Many saying they don't believe there's much good that could come out of it. Here at the Council on American and Islamic Relations, leaders say they've condemned the event, but there's little that they can do to stop it. Well, obviously we condemn his actions. We ask, uh, ask him not to do it. But if he won't listen to General Petraeus, if he won't listen to all the uh, Christian leaders nationwide who have asked him not to do it, the Jewish leaders, Muslim leaders, he's not going to listen to anybody. The U.S. commander in Afghanistan, David Petraeus, has warned the event could be used to ignite even more anti-American sentiments and ultimately jeopardize the U.S. mission in Afghanistan. Even NATO Secretary General Anders Rasmussen says he is concerned about the effect the planned Quran burning may have. Many websites already say American troops will be a greater target now. The Muslim leader who has organized protests warns that if the event takes place, it will only increase hatred for Americans in Afghanistan and could lead to worldwide protests. For Press TV, Colin Campbell, Washington. The Austrian Freedom Party has once again caused outrage.